Hey guys and welcome to this video tutorial on the R programming language. So in this tutorial we're going to talk about how to extract information from JSON or uh, JavaScript object notation. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, in the background here I have the GitHub API and it's the um, it's information of all of my repositories and things like that. So you can see uh, highlighted there is my username on GitHub and then it has all of the repositories that I have on my GitHub such as uh, this awesome TensorFlow which I forked from another repository and so on and so forth all here. So what we want to do is we want to get this data, we want to extract it you know, into R, maybe get some type of meaningful information from it. So to do that we're going to use um, the JSON Lite library just like that and now let's go ahead and get that data from the JSON so I'm gonna call this JSON data and the function that we're gonna use is called from JSON and then we're gonna take in the URL here so I'm just gonna copy it all right and then go right here and paste it uh, inside these quotes okay and now this gives us our data frame All right so if I say class JSON data you can see that it's a data frame okay so let's see what's in this um, JSON data variable so we can do that using the names function and then type in JSON data there and you can see um, a lot of the uh, attributes that are in here, such as name. So this right here will be the name of my repository. So let's take a look at those names. And of course, since this is just a data frame, I can say JSON data, dollar sign, and then name. And so here's the name of all of my repositories that I have. Apparently I have about, looks like 29 or 30, like 30. And uh, that's pretty cool. So I can extract this information using GitHub's API. And be sure to check out my C programs uh, repository. Uh, anyways, we're gonna keep going here. So now let's suppose that uh, we want to take a data frame and make it into a JavaScript object notation. So a data frame like uh, the Iris data set, you can see here I just typed Iris. And so this gives us back um, the Iris data frame. But suppose I want this to be in JavaScript object notation. So what we would do is we're just going to use the to JSON function. So let's call it my JSON, the variable called my JSON. And then we're going to use the to JSON function. And we're going to take in the iris data set or a data frame. And I'm going to use this uh, parameter called pretty. So what it does is it's going to make our JSON look, well, pretty. It's going to make it look nice. It's going to be indented and things like that. Um, so let's go ahead and take a look to see what it looks like. My JSON. And you can see uh, it's very nicely separated and indented here. So we get our our sepal length, our sepal width, our petal length, our petal width, um, and the, the data with that. You know, 6, 3, 4.8, 1.8, and the, the species, which is uh, virginica. So now you may wonder, well, what does it look like without it, you know, being pretty? So let's just not put that parameter in there at all. And now let's see what my JSON looks like. And you can see it doesn't look very nice, um, and it's truncated. So yeah, I'd like the um, the pretty parameter there. 
All right. So now let's say we want to change this right back to um, a data frame. Again, we're just going to use the from JSON function. And then we're going to type in the parameter my JSON. And it gives us our data frame again. So it you know basically reverses what we did. So thank you guys. I hope you really enjoyed the video. Uh, please leave any comments, any questions that you guys have. And thanks as always for watching. And I see you all in the next video.